Hi and welcome to this video where I'm going to talk to you about carboxylic acids. In particular I'm going to show you how to draw and name carboxylic acids and we're going to look at a few of the reactions of carboxylic acids. Some of those reactions will be covered in more detail in later videos also. Okay, so first off, carboxylic acids contain two functional groups on the same carbon or two things. So there is a double bond O and an OH connected to the same carbon. Now because these bonds take up three out of the four of those bonds from carbon, it must be on the end of a carbon chain. And the carboxylic acid group is always numbered as carbon 1. To name them, we call them something or rather oic acid. And we can shorten it if we're using a condensed structural formula as COOH. So let's have a bit of a look at this. So first let's consider this molecule in front of us. We know it's a carboxylic acid because it has this COOH group on it. One of the things people often mistake is they forget to count that first carbon. So that is always going to be carbon 1. This one's going to be carbon 2 and this one is going to be carbon 3. So to name it, we would have prop because there are three carbons in that chain. We're going to have AN because there are single bonds between those carbon atoms. And we're going to have oic acid, propanoic acid. Just that simple. No number needed because the acid group must be on carbon 1. Okay, so give me a second and I'm going to show you a slightly more complicated example. Okay, so here we have a slightly larger molecule. Again, we've got our carboxylic acid group down the end. And that means that this is going to end in oic acid. And look at how long our carbon chain is, not forgetting that first one. And in this case, it is five carbons long. So we're going to use pent for five carbons. Five, only single bonds between there. So that's an. And because we've got that carboxylic acid group, it's going to be oic acid. However, as you will have noticed, we also have this one sitting out here. Right? A methyl group. It is on carbon 1, 2, 3, 4. Carbon 4. Now, this is where people sometimes make mistakes because they forget to include carbon 1 when they're counting. Okay, so this is 4 methyl pentanoic acid. Just that easy. Right, so now we can identify our carboxylic acids. Let's have a bit of a look at some of their reactions. Okay, so the first reaction that we can think about with carboxylic acids is a substitution reaction with thionyl chloride, or sometimes known in our, house, in our class anyway as SOCL2. You can also use PCL3 or PCL5, but not always. It only works for some reactions. So I would recommend sticking with thionyl chloride wherever you possibly can. Um, and this produces an acyl chloride. So what happens is the OH part of the carboxylic acid gets replaced with a chlorine. Let me just show you what that looks like. Okay, so here we have a very simple carboxylic acid. We've got ethanoic acid. We're going to react it with thionyl chloride. And what we're, all we're going to do is replace the chlorine, uh, replace the OH with a chlorine. So what we end up with is something that looks very much like so. And of course this is a substitution reaction because if we think about the definition, we have replaced one atom or group of atoms with another atom or group of atoms. Now we have not replaced the entire functional group, the double bond O stays the same. So that's where the definition becomes quite specific. Okay, so onward to the next lot of reactions. 
one of the most important things to know about carboxylic acids is, ta-da, they're acids. But you would never have guessed that. Okay, so what makes them an acid is that they can donate a proton. That is the definition of an acid, it is a proton donor. But only a very small proportion of the uh, carboxylic acid molecules will react with water to donate a proton. So that's what's known as partial dissociation, which means that these are weak acids. They're not strong acids, they are weak acids. Um, they form, once they have donated a proton, they form a carboxylate anion, or COO-, which is named as something O8. And I'll show you what that means in just one second. So the acidity of any molecule is defined by its ability to accept or donate a proton to water. And if you haven't already done chemical reactivity yet, that will be coming up fairly soon for you, I'm sure. And that will go into a lot more detail about our acids and bases. However, what happens in effect is the hydrogen is donated to the water. This is an equilibrium reaction because it is only partial and it is weak. So in theory, you should always draw this with a weak, uh, with an equilibrium arrow. For those of you that aren't familiar, this thing here is an equilibrium arrow. However, this is organic, luckily not chemical reactivity. So if you don't do that, it will not be the end of the world, but it is good practice. Okay, and what's going to happen once we've donated that proton is we're going to have our carboxylate anion formed. Put them out of space more. Pretend this is drawn a lot better than it is. And our hydronium ion is also formed. Okay, now names. Of course, this one here has two carbons, so it is ethanoic acid. Ethanoic acid. The other one over here with the negative charge on it, this one here, that's a minus charge right there. This is known as the ethanoate ion. So ethanoic acid forms the ethanoate ion. Propanoic acid would form the propanoate ion, etc, etc. Now finally, because carboxylic acids are acidic, they react with all of the things that normal acids react with. So they react with metals, they react with hydroxides, and they react with carbonates. So an acid plus a metal will form a salt plus hydrogen. An acid plus a hydroxide forms a salt plus water. And an acid plus a carbonate forms a salt plus water plus carbon dioxide. The salt we're talking about in this case is a metal carboxylate salt. So for example, if the acid was ethanoic acid and the hydroxide was sodium hydroxide, then the salt would be sodium ethanoate. If the metal was magnesium and the acid was propanoic acid, then the salt would be magnesium propanoate, etc. So these are just standard acid-base reactions. It's just that the anion is not one that you are so familiar with that you, as you would be with, say, hydrochloric acid or sulfuric acid or nitric acid or whatever. So it's just a matter of learning about these. And that is it for the reactions of carboxylic acids in this video. Carboxylic acids do also react to form esters, but I have a separate video covering that. And I will see you later.